our Blessed Mother taught St. Faustina in many other ways. And I hope that you will pick up the diary so that you can find that out. The diary is such an important book. It's now called, of course, The Divine Mercy in My Soul, but that is her journal. That book, that journal, those words have changed the lives of literally thousands of people because they are the words of Jesus Christ himself speaking to us through the great saint. And they are, of course, the reflections of this great mystic of the 20th century, too. As we know, as I said, there's so much that could be, that could be uh, written about this subject of divine mercy. Well, it has been written. God has given St. Faustina the words. He has given her the message. And the message has come through her to us. And so it's important for us to make sure that we all have a copy of that life-transforming book in our house. God's divine mercy is the support and anchor of our entire life. In the diary, in number 1065, she writes, My Jesus, support me when difficult and stormy days come, days of testing, of ordeal, when suffering and fatigue begin to oppress my body and soul. Your most merciful heart is all my hope. I have nothing for my defense, but only your mercy. In it lies all of my trust. This is a soul that has abandoned itself to God's divineness. She knew that the reason for her existence was to make known the glory of God's divine mercy. And one of the ways to do this was to write the diary that hopefully we are all so familiar with. In number 1657, or rather 1567, she asks for God's blessings as she undertakes what was a very difficult task for her. As you know, she is not a very educated woman. Maybe three to four years of formal education. But this was for God's glory. And so it was worth the struggle for her. Jesus responded to her by saying that he will bless her. And he says, my daughter, I demand that you devote all of your free moments to writing about my goodness and mercy. It is your office and your assignment throughout your life to continue to make known to souls the great mercy that I have for them and to exhort them to trust in my, in my bottomless mercy. But the great saint was not only to receive God's mercy, she knew that she not only had to be, was to receive it and to write about it, she was also to be God's mercy in the world. She teaches us that we cannot love the God that we cannot see if we do not have a passionate love for those that we do see. If we do not have a passionate love for souls, then we're not really in love with God. And we show that love of God, we show that love for souls by being 
the mercy of God in the world. Our church, by its very nature, is an evangelizing and missionary church. And by our baptism, all of us are called to be evangelists and to be missionaries in the world today. Wherever God has you, in your family, among your friends, among your classmates, where you're working, you are called to be God's ambassadors. You are called to be ambassadors of the kingdom of God. And one of the most effective ways that we can do this is through deeds of mercy. We must be compassionate, even when we don't want to be compassionate. We must forgive, even when it is hard to forgive. Remember Jesus hanging on the cross. Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Remember when we say to our Father, forgive us as we forgive those who have sinned against us. In other words, we, we are giving the Lord permission to forgive us to the extent that we forgive. And so we must forgive even those that we might find it hard to forgive. And sometimes we may not be able to forgive right now. But we should at least pray for the grace that God will bring us to that point and that our hearts will be open so that we can get to that point where we want to forgive. And we must be patient with those who require a great deal of patience. I'm sure that many of us spend a lot of time praying for the virtue of patience, right? Lord, make me patient. Lord, make me patient. I want to be patient. And then God puts someone in our life who requires all the patience in the world, and we say, Lord, please, get this one out of my life. <laughs> please. Well, well patience, patience, is, like, patience is, is, is like a muscle. You have, to, you have to exercise it. You have to exercise it. And so, we must be patient. St. Faustina did not become a saint because of God's appearances to her. She became a saint because she surrendered to God's will and constantly worked to overcome her human nature. She refers to this in 1694. Today I, I was visited by a certain lay person who has caused me a great deal of sorrow and who has abused my goodness telling many lies. At the first moment I saw her, my blood froze in my veins because there stood before my eyes all that I had to suffer because of her. Although with one word I could have freed myself of them all, and the thought came to me to tell her the truth firmly and immediately, but at that same time the mercy of God came before my eyes. And I resolved to act toward her as Jesus would have acted in my place. I started to talk to her gently. And when she expressed the wish to talk to me alone, I, in a very delicate manner, made known to her the condition of her soul. I saw that she was deeply moved. However, had it not been for the grace of God, I would not have been able to act in such a way toward her. I thank God for the grace which had supported me during that time. And so we can see that St. Faustina, like us, had to work to become ever more compassionate, merciful, and patient. 
she took to heart Jesus' admonition that for those who have received much, much is asked of them. She knew that God had forgiven her time and time again, and that she was the recipient of mercy. So much mercy she had received from God that she had to be a channel of mercy to those who needed it, who needed to experience it from her. Perhaps she knew the story of the scriptures told by Jesus of the king who had forgiven the great debt that his servant owed and what happened to him when this servant went out and would not give a smaller debt of a, of a fellow servant. And so, brothers and sisters, let us ask this great saint for her intercession that we too may come to love our Blessed Mother as she did. That we too might have a passionate love for souls. And that we too might be channels of mercy in the world. Amen. Amen.